15 Exercise Tips for People with Type 2 Diabetes 1. Try Quick Workouts If you can do your exercise in one 30-minute stretch, fine. But if not, break it up into increments you can manage that add up to at least 30 minutes each day. 2. Focus on overall activity. Increase activity in general, such as walking or climbing stairs, rather than a particular type of exercise. However, don't rely on housework or other daily activity as your sole exercise. 3. Get a pedometer. Having a goal of 10,000 steps a day, about 5 miles, was important, even if the goal wasn't reached. Pedometer users lost more weight, had a greater drop in blood pressure, and walked about 2,500 steps more per day than those who didn't use a pedometer. 4. Work out with a friend. Having a friend call or setting up an exercise contract with a buddy may help. One of the things we found with our meta-analysis is that behavioral strategies work better, that means setting up some sort of stimulus in the environment where you exercise, says Kahn, according to Vicky Kahn, PhD, the Associate Dean for Research at the University of Missouri in Columbia. 5. Set specific, attainable goals. For example, you might set a goal of walking 10 minutes every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. That doesn't sound like a lot, but, setting up very specific goals like that helps people a lot more than telling people, gee, you've got to exercise more, says Con. 6. Reward yourself. Don't hold out for weight loss as an emotional reward. Focus on other benefits, such as having more energy or enjoying the outdoors when you walk. 7. Use visual cues. Put a note on the refrigerator or keep your walking shoes next to the back door as a reminder to go for a walk and it'll be more likely to happen. 8. Write it all down. Write down your goals, be specific, and keep a record every time you do exercise, says Con. Record on your calendar every day whether you exercised for 10 or 15 minutes or more. 9. Join a class. A class is good because there is an exercise leader and someone to call for emergency help, if necessary. 10. Don't set goals too high. You are much more likely to be successful if you start with small, easily attainable goals and gradually increase them. That increases one's sense of confidence. 11. Look at the big picture. Working up to a moderate amount of exercise quickly isn't that important in terms of your health. What really matters is next year, you are doing it all the time. 12. Change one behavior at a time. You're more likely to be successful if you focus on changing one behavior at a time, rather than everything at once, like taking medication, checking your feet, switching your diet, and exercising. 13. Get an exercise prescription. In this case, a fitness or exercise physiologist can measure how physically fit you are and prescribe a specific intensity of exercise and how to progress to the next level. 14. Connect with a mentor or become one. Ask your doctor or diabetes educator to match you with a person with type 2 diabetes who has been successful at exercising and or losing weight. They may have exercise or weight loss tips that work. 15. Test yourself regularly. Keep up with your hemoglobin A1c and blood glucose testing. Good test results can encourage you to keep with an exercise program, even when it feels tedious. Best Diabetes Treatment Type 2 Program. Clink link in my description to find more.